Welcome back, forensic students. Today's topic is lab equipment. And just like with lab safety symbols, there may be a few pieces of equipment that your teacher um, might add to this lesson, depending on what um, they use in their own classroom. Um, so we're just gonna go over a few pieces of common lab equipment that's used in the forensics classroom. All right, so starting with the beaker. Um, the purpose of a beaker is to hold substances. Sometimes, most of the time, beakers are made of glass, but they can also be made of plastic. And you might be asked to use both in the classroom. Um, beakers can be used to measure, but not precisely. Um, so if you're just, if it's not really important that you have very precise measurements, then your teacher may ask you to measure using a beaker. Beakers are really good if we want to heat substances, like on a hot plate, um, because they have a flat bottom, and um, that's what they're designed to, to do, to hold and to heat substances. Test tubes, um, these also come in glass and plastic. A lot of times you'll see like little markings on the test tube. The purpose of a test tube is to hold substances uh, for testing purposes, and if you'll notice, test tube has a round bottom, so they don't very easily sit on a flat surface. So most of the time, a test tube is going to be placed in a test tube rack or be held with a test tube clamp. The microscope is something that is going to be used in the forensics classroom. Um, there will be a, a future lesson over the microscope where we go in more depth over the different parts and function and how to care for um, and magnify objects with the microscope. But for right now, you just need to know that the purpose of the microscope is to magnify objects that are too small to be seen with the naked eye. We also might use latex gloves in the forensics classroom. So latex gloves, their job is to protect our hands. Um, they can also protect from cross-contamination. Uh, so basically to protect, protect ourselves from contaminants um, and then also protect evidence because we want to maintain the integrity of evidence if we are looking at it. All right, forceps. Forceps are used to help grab small objects. There are several reasons why we'd use forceps in the forensics classroom. So just make sure that you know these are called forceps. These are not tweezers. So tweezers are designed to pluck things um, on your face or <laughs> wherever. That's sort of like the street name. But in the forensics classroom, we call these forceps. All right, a thermometer is used to measure temperature. Um, sometimes in the science classroom, you're asked to use a digital thermometer. Sometimes you will be asked to use um, a traditional manually read thermometer. A pipette, uh, a lot of times these are made of plastic. Sometimes they're disposable and can be thrown away after you use them. Um, or your teacher might say, let's wash these out and reuse them. Or you might have something like a micro pipette if we're doing like electrophoresis labs uh, where you just kind of use different parts interchangeably. Um, but the purpose of a pipette is to transfer small amounts of liquids. I mentioned this device earlier, but a test tube rack is designed to hold test tubes. It can hold one, two, three, sometimes six or seven test tubes. Safety goggles, we've talked about those in a previous lesson. Those are designed to protect your eyes. Magnifying glass, you might use this this year in the forensics classroom. The purpose of a magnifying glass is to magnify objects, um, but not as much as a microscope. So sometimes we don't want to magnify uh, four times its original size or 40 times its original size. We just want a little extra magnification. And so in that case, we would use a magnifying glass. 
Occasionally, you'll use a Petri dish in the forensics classroom, um, and it serves a lot of different purposes. But for most science classrooms, anytime the Petri dish is used, it's used to culture microorganisms and cells. Because we're going to be using the microscope this year, you'll also need to recognize the microscope slide, which is a rectangular clear piece. Sometimes they're made of plastic and sometimes they're made of glass, um, but they hold specimens for viewing under the microscope. You also have a square clear piece, again, sometimes made of plastic, sometimes made of glass, called the cover slip, and that also um, protects the specimen or it protects the specimen for use under the microscope. The probe is used a lot of times if we're dissecting, um, which you may do this year in forensics. So the purpose of the probe is to just move or separate or even pin specimens during dissection. The graduated cylinder is used to measure liquids. Now earlier I showed you the beaker and it does have measurement markings on it, but I told you that the beaker is not used for um, very precise measurements. Uh, but the graduated cylinder is. So graduated cylinders can be made of plastic or glass. They have measurements on them to measure um, the volume of liquids. All right, so that concludes our um, lab equipment lesson. I'll see you in the next lesson.